so really, you are just the guy I needed to talk to. Oh, no. No. It's um, too early. Or too late. I know you work at night. No, it's, it's um, Officer Wallace. He's, he's really getting out of control. Officer who? Wallace. Wallace? Isn't that his name? He was the one that was um, working that very first stop where I met you. You know where they um, left the guy go? The Walt? You were saying Officer Walters? Walters, I'm That's sorry. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, last night, remember the last time we talked? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we discussed um, going onto the freeway. Mm -hmm. And you said that was perfectly fine. I said I said getting on the show, like, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. The show, not, not on the, the lane, freeway. Right. right. Just because I don't want to make it. Easy. Right. Not on the freeway. That's crazy insane. Right. Um, it'd be impossible to go on the freeway and not get hit. Well, we, yeah, that's true. I we, mean, people actually. Have get, people have gotten hit on the freeway yeah. trying to run across. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, last night there was a stop. Um, right there uh, on the highway on the front of the road or on the highway no it was on the highway okay. and um i was here it was at like one it was at like 2 a.m okay. right at 2 a.m and um so i went onto the front of the road onto the other side and then crossed over the front of the road and got onto the grass area so you just went down here and then went that way or was it no i was, was on the north other north? side yeah so on the okay. northbound and I was on the grass area mm -hmm. next to the improved shoulder. Okay. So I wasn't even on the improved shoulder where you agree I could be. Yeah. Right? And now this stop was on the other side of the free. I mean, it was on the left side of the highway. So like... So, I'm sorry. So if they, were, the, they were northbound. They were northbound. But they but were on the inside shoulder? Yeah, they were on the inside. Up against the concrete median? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't cross over or anything. But I'm standing over there, so like they're over there, mm -hmm. you know, on the left side of the highway, and I'm on the grass, and um, now there's a number of issues with this stop, but a number of issues of what happened, but um, that I have real concerns about, you know, and what well, I'm going to talk about what happened with me first. Okay. Now, Officer Walters, you said it was? Yeah, Walters. He um, he screams across and says, I can't be where I am. Okay. Okay, that I'm on the highway, right? And of course, okay. I scream back and say, no, I'm on the, um, you know, this isn't the highway. And I could be on the improved shoulder. And he says, no, I am on the highway, but I was on the grass. Okay, okay you know, I mean, I'm so good, right? And... Um, and he, he screams back that, you know, I have to go. And he's like, basically threatening me under color of law, you know, that he's going to arrest me, you know. And, um, you know, I moved back a tiny bit because I really couldn't see anything with my camera anyway. Which is the second issue is that, okay, first, he was not the first officer to um, arrive. There was another officer that got there first. And then he came in behind him. And then that's when I got there. It was like right after he got there. Okay. And then the first officer leaves. Okay. But the first officer had his, all of his lights on. Okay. Including his like spotlight, you know. But then when he left, the other two officers didn't have their spotlight or anything on. Right. So it just went maybe just, dark. Maybe just the back lights. Yeah. Just okay. like they're in like one blue light at the top, but no spotlight. And the second officer was wakeful. Walters, he was parked a good distance behind the lady who was pulled over, right? And she was out of her car. And then a third officer arrives, and, and Walters directs him to back up, okay? And he starts backing up and, like, going into the highway, mm -hmm. backing up, okay? Craziness. And, um, and then, so... Then, so they proceed to um, to start doing a drunk driving test, you know, which is fine, except that they have no lights on her at all. And I mean, my video shows nothing. You can't even see anything except for like her tail lights, right? Is it, it's like pitch black on the highway, right? And I'm like, why do they not have a spotlight so, on her? I, I, you know have what an, I, mean? I have answers for all this stuff, right? I, I hope you do. Yeah. But I mean, it's just, and I, I don't know, maybe so, something to do with the drunk driving test. Yes. You want some distance, but it seemed incredibly dangerous. He did put out cones, you know, way back, but um, 
it just seemed incredibly dangerous. So, I've never seen a scene where like the lights are all turned off yeah. and so, everything like so, that. Okay, so you said that somebody he directed somebody further back. Let's start with the stop. You said he directed somebody further back, and they were in the lane of traffic, right? No, the third officer the third that officer, showed up. Yes. He started. He told him to back up, and he's backing up, and he's like in the lane of traffic while he's backing so, up and I'm like, oh my God, so what somebody's going to die here. So what they're doing but, is they're shutting down that, lane, that side lane of traffic. Yeah, but he was just like kind of weaving yeah. in and out of it while he was backing up. Well, there's, You see what I'm saying? Like, you're not I, supposed I, to back up on a highway. No, you, well, you can. I if, mean, you have, if you have to, you can. Like, as long as you do it safely, it's okay. Right? I, I guess. Nobody so, died. Right. Nobody so, died. So no crashes, nobody died. The guy backs up, whatever. I don't know who it was. I mean, they're they're gonna close off that lane. That's they're gonna close off that inside lane because being pinned between yeah, that's fine. Cars and comes pump out. Yeah, I'm all for that. For us, right? I don't want to get smashed. Do by that. Car, right? Do that. So Put the cones out. Moving on to your moving on to your next issue about them turning the lights off. There are parts of the the field sobriety tests that preclude us from having like our overhead lights on with the subject facing. There's a, there's a there's a um, there's a type blind. of eye yeah. no 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 there's a type of eye movement that we don't want to mis to, to mistake as nystagmus right sure uh, and it has to do with visual tracking of objects and when you have someone standing there looking for flashing lights we don't want that to happen right it's about the person sure, having sure, the best sure. opportunity to go through the process to see if they're drunk or not I I wouldn't well, like for example if no, I stopped that makes you sense. I wouldn't want to arrest you for DWI take you to the jail and then learn that you're not only because I messed up part of that process, right? right, I, right, I right. Want, if you're not DWI, I, I want to make sure that you're not DWI, so you go on your merry way, right? Absolutely. Um, so that's that's why. That's why we turn off a lot of those lights. Also, they're going to back up and they're going to give some distance because there's a... We, we have multiple cameras, right? we got a camera in our car. we got a camera on my purse. The camera in the car is going to capture a lot of what will be used later as evidence. There's no way the camera in the car was going to capture anything because he was so far away. Well, he was the second one on scene, so he was way back. And then yeah, well, the first officer on, left, how far away he which was. I found strange, too, that the first officer left and left Officer Walters. It could, it, it could be because, it could be for a very reasons. It could be because... That's not the district officer. It could be a call for service. It could have been a supervisor who was leaving to go to a different call. It could be for a number of reasons, right? Okay. There's just, there's any number of reasons that would explain that without there being a problem. Right? Sure. So, do the field sobriety test. The camera needs to capture what it needs to capture, which means you do have to back up a little bit because it's got to be able to see full body, right? I want to see where your feet go when yeah, you're doing yeah, the walk yeah. and turn, right? Which he didn't do. How do you, how do you I, know? I filmed the whole thing and I was watching and it. And he didn't do the walk and turn? No, he didn't do the full sobriety test. He was did anybody... the he did the light in her eyes and then he was like demonstrating the walking test and then he never had her do it. And then he sent her back to her car and she got in and then he approached the car again. Okay, now I mean there's I've a, seen I, I a lot of stops. Stop. You do I not know. send somebody back and get in your car and then re approach. Why not? Well, because they were already out of your car, and now you put them back in the car where they could access some weapon or anything. What if what if right? that portion like, of the stop was included? Wait, included? Well, like, I mean, like if you're going to give her a hey, ticket... Like, for example, hey, I do my DWI stuff. Cool. And I'll tell you why. I, let's, let's just say, for example, yeah. I, I do my DWI stuff, and I'm like, hey, cool, you're okay. I need you to go have a seat in your car, seatbelt yourself in, because we're staying on the side of the road. A drunk driver comes and hits us. Is it safe for you to be outside the car or sure. inside the car? Inside, inside the, the car, day? absolutely. So, so okay. we, we take on an apparent risk knowing that we're going to have to reapproach that car, okay. but it's for the safety of the person who stopped, right? Okay. I would rather you be seatbelted in the car. I'll take the risk of getting hit. I sure, don't want sure, you to sure. get crushed, sure, right? Sure. So All that's right. about the safety of the person. All right. So I don't know the conclusion of stuff. I don't think anybody was arrested for DWI. No, they weren't. Yeah, they so, let her go. That, that was fine. Yeah. My, I mean, those, you answered the also, safety concerns I had. And there's but also, I, they don't have to, like, let's say, let's say I stop and I do field sobriety on something, right? Um, there are three field, standardized field sobriety tests, right? There's three of them. There's the HGN, which is the eye test, right? Horizontal gaze and stack, which is sure. walk and turn on legs. Those are the three scientific. Okay, maybe he did a walk and turn. I'm not sure exactly what that is specifically, but he didn't do like the 
the you know walk ten paces. Yeah, and... that's the walk and turn. It's, okay, it's, okay, it's he did not do that. Well, there's he a was reason demonstrating for that. it, and then he didn't do it. And there's so. probably a reason for that because let's say I pull you over, right, and I get you out of the car, and I turn off my lights, and under the best possible conditions, I test you, and you're based on your eyes alone, which is the most accurate test. You're not intoxicated. Yeah, no, okay, I, so, so I'm not doubting him. If, he seems like he's a good officer if, on his on his testing. If there's if there's no uh, reason that? if there's no reason for um, if there's no reason for him to like he could go through and do the rest of the test. He could do the walk and turn and he could do the one leg stand. But if I've already looked at your eyes and the eyes are pretty definitive that you're not going to be a danger to yourselves or others based on the way the law is written. Uh, there's a solid chance, especially if we're standing on the freeway, I may not have you do the rest of the examination because, number one, it's probably going to only reaffirm what I already know. Right. And number two, we is it worth the safety risk of us standing on the side of the road, like sure, in the roadway sure. for that period of time? Sure. And the answer typically is no. Uh, so that's those are some of the reasons why you saw him do the things. That he did. Yeah, no, and I you have great scene, answers so I, for all those. I wasn't on scene, so I can't I can't interpret all of it, right? Yeah. I'm just telling you why these things. Yeah. Answers for all of those, but I am really concerned that he's escalating with me. Okay. Well, okay, I mean, I, that, um, he works that, on my ship, so I can talk to him. I told sure. you I've been kidnapped before for I'm, walking on the side of the highway. I'm, I'm no one okay. cares going to kidnap and me. I don't want to get kidnapped <laughs> for that, right? And he's escalating. I'll, I'll talk you know, to he's, him. He's clearly trying to throw around are, some are weight. Are you sure? Right? I, would say, I would say if I talk to him, because Trey is not... Trey. Officer Walters. The is, first time is, I met him, he was like amazing. Trey, Officer Walters is, is extremely level-headed, right? Yeah, and then and the second time... I think time... that maybe, perhaps, th this is just a maybe because I wasn't there, but if you're telling me you were on the grassy median and yeah. he was all the way on the inside shoulder, yeah. what you perceived as him yelling at you was maybe just him making sure that he you could hear it's his It's not voice. his level of his voice that concerned me. It's what Words. he was saying to me that I cannot be there, that I was on the highway. And then I said, no, I'm on the improved shoulder. And he said, no, well, actually I wasn't. I said, that's the improved shoulder. Right. That's the highway. And this is something else entirely over here. And then he continued to say, I have to, I cannot be there. I have to go back to the furniture road. And then I said, oh no, I've discussed this with Lieutenant Rayleigh already. And he says, I'm good. And he says, hold on. Well, and I'm like, I would well, be I'm not going anywhere, you can, but so you know, so I backed up a just, little bit. Just a reminder, all right. Yeah, I don't uh, want to get kidnapped over. Something I don't want stupid. you to get kidnapped either, but I would be cautious about because I don't want you to use. I don't want. I don't want you to say I talked to Lieutenant Rayleigh over something we hadn't already discussed. But we did. But we did discuss yeah, that. Yeah, and right? you admitted so, it again. Yeah, today, yeah. And and there's things about that that I absolutely don't care about. I don't care right. if you go play in the grass. I, it doesn't really concern me. Right, at all. but I because mean, we have people. We have, I, I've people, transient people. I've will researched walk up and down. this, and the improved shoulder is defined as the area restricted from vehicular traffic. The highway is the area that is restricted to vehicular traffic. Right. Right. And so, and then there's that grassy median, which is like that over there, all that grass yeah, yeah. on the side. I mean, that's not. That's nothing. That's definitely not the well, improved shoulder oh. or the. Or I'll, the highway. I'll see him. Like I'm working a different ship today. I'm working somebody else's ship. I'll, yeah. I'll see Officer Walters on that day. I'll, ta I'll talk okay. to him about it, about the incident. Just make yeah, sure everything's I mean, good. I don't want anybody. You know, I don't no want anybody to anybody. Right. Like I'm I not don't in want anybody anybody's to... way. I never interfere. I don't say a single word right. to anybody. Like he should just leave me alone. Like not give me orders. Well, you know we, what I, mean? I mean, we if, will come if up and talk to you. It's a legitimate order. Then I'll follow it. But every time I hear one that's not legitimate, right. it makes me question everyone after that just that extra bit harder. You know what I mean? That's how you lose trust with the community. And I will say, I mean, the first time I met him, I was like, man, this guy is gung-ho to serve. He's yeah. like really nice. He's... And then the second time, he was nice, but he started it off with some orders. You know, right, that, and that I'm, that aware, I'm, aware, appreciate. I'm aware of the second one because I, yeah. he, he told me the circumstances of, of which it was that he spoke. And, yeah, and you know, I got in between him and his car and, and I validated that and I moved back, right? I'm like, that's a valid valid point. And plus he gave me a good interview afterwards, yeah, you know, right. which I was happy with. And right. I dropped my phone and lost 10 minutes of it. But yeah. that's, yeah. that's not his fault, you know? <laughs> he told me about that part too. Yeah, yeah, um, I did, but you know, and, and you've been great and um, 
but I don't want to get kidnapped for being. Oh. All right, man. I gotta go. You gotta okay? go. But I gotta thank go, you very okay? much. Be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. And next time I want to hear those seven points thing because I never, I interrupted you every time one of these you tried times to you're tell gonna have me. You have to this. tell me your name so I, don't, I know what to call you. I'm one of the people. No, you gotta tell me an actual name. Your person. And you were doing so good, too. I know, I know. I'm you were doing so her. good. I, I told the I, I told the assistant chief of the sheriff's yesterday because he never asked. <laughs> you never asked, but I'm David. David? Yeah. I gotta go, okay? All right. Uh -huh. Master by the name of Bates Smoking more than all 50 states Combined, yeah right, I gotta stay on the grind I got no money, so my weed's on my mind I hit the club, but you know I can't dance Seven and seven in my cutoff chance Had a shirt in my long ass hair Well, part of how I look makes you think I care 